What's going on you guys, Sambo here. Welcome back for another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing all about the borders. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to be revealing the names of each country. So there's going to be two countries and then I'm also going to be re revealing the name of the whole map and the whole series. So definitely stick around for that. Now, as I said, we're going to be doing the borders in this video. So there isn't actually going to be many like the hard borders. So the, the actual main borders throughout this map it's going to rely on the the mountain terrain so the the areas like a little bit north of where we are right now they're very very steep it's very very mountainous and we're going to use those so you'll notice a lot of countries they use the mountains as a border so they'll kind of split the mountain in half so that's what I'm going to be doing here and we're just going to be adding in lots of lookout towers lots of little roads kind of going along near the borders and just things like that and maybe something else at the end of the video but you have to stick around for that so we're going to be using the fire lookout I know it's kind of silly but I like those ones because they're up really high and they kind of blend in really well with their with the whole surrounding as well now even though where we are right here even though this is already just one country on its own um, the water basically is the border in this area so what I wanted to do is put up some border not uh, some border lookout towers in this area and we're also going to be doing some little dirt roads which is where the like the patrols the patrol buildings not buildings the the, the patrol cars will be going back and forth basically just so no one can paddle across in the night and then sneak up onto this country so I wanted to make sure that there's actually something here instead of just having you know just nothing so a couple more lookout towers um, we're going to be doing some roads some little cars and I'm also going to be adding in a big fence along here as well even though like I said this is already one country on this side I still just wanted to add a fence because it really adds the whole look of it it just I don't know you, you guys will see it just looks really good with having a fence there and um, I cleared away a lot of the trees because I thought those would probably be cleared away anyway because if people are trying to get across the border they can hide behind the trees and you know maybe the people up in the the tower won't really see them so I thought it's probably probably better to only have like little shrubs and bushes and things like that in this area so that's that um, I don't really have much um, I've never really had much to do with borders you know as I said I live in Australia we don't really have borders so not much I can really say that I've seen in real life. So just a little bit of a wire fence through here. Nothing too fancy, but like I said, it just adds to the whole look of it. And I think it looks good having it there as well. And just a few more little bushes to fill in the empty space. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also made some of the areas along the shoreline there really steep, kind of like a cliff, so uh, it's not really easy for them to sneak up underneath the highway as well, so <laughs> yeah, except this, the other part there was kind of beachy, so that's why there's the security people there. Anyway, so this is where the border is going to go. It's going to go up through these mountain areas, um, and then we have a lot of the area up at the top, which we'll talk about in a minute, but let's start with closer to the actual border crossing. Now, instead of doing like an actual big fence or a wall or something like that, I'm just going to be putting down little posts. And I know that's odd, but um, I, I, off camera, I put up a fence, I put up a wall through this area and it looked weird. It didn't really suit the look of the whole map. So I just wanted to go with something that isn't really obvious, but there's still at least something there. Um, I don't know, probably some countries do that. They have little markers instead of like a big wall. Um, yeah, I just think it looks really good and it just blends in. So it's not really obvious. Whereas if I put a big fence, a big wall, it's going to be, mm, it's going to stand out and it's going to look odd. That's for sure. So we come over, over to this area. Now at the moment, there's no roads. There's nothing over here. But in the future, this is actually going to be a border crossing. So in this video, all I do is I make a border, like a fence, a wall. But I'm not really too fussed with how it looks because once the other, the other country develops. So, so far only one country is kind of developing. 
which is the one you've seen with, with Bersheva. Um, but in the future, this is going to be an actual border crossing. Um, cars going to be going through here, maybe a little highway, I don't really know, but I do know that there's going to be a crossing. So I'm not really going to put too much effort into this, but I just wanted to put at least a fence, a few lookout towers. Um, I put an old fence there, it's kind of, you know, just to symbolize it's old, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, but it's all going to be changed sometime in the future when the other country is more developed and also we'll probably end up needing more road options in the future and this is probably one of the main easy ways because there's a bit of a valley through here so cars will want to go through there it'll be a nice easy bypass instead of going through all of the the city areas So like I said, we can't really put fences up through the mountain areas, so uh, you'll notice I've put down a lot of new little dirt roads which go kind of close to the border, um, as close as we can without going up into the mountains too much. But um, in the future, all of these roads will be upgraded uh, when we have more traffic, when we have more towns and cities throughout the actual desert area. Yeah, we're going to need to update a lot of these things. So everything that you're seeing basically on the map Everything is going to be updated at some point, most of it anyway. Uh, even this road right here, I'm just using the dirt road. Eventually it's going to be, who knows, maybe it's going to be a four lane or six lane, who knows, but it's not going to be left like this. But the good thing is it's just done. We now have a bit of a road system um, and it makes it a little bit easier for me to just start building things in this area as well. And it helps me kind of visualize what I want to do, if that makes sense. Right, I've added in another little watchtower here. I think I add in one more, but I don't show you guys in the actual speed build. You might see something at the end. I don't know, but there, there are more towers that you guys aren't seeing. Um, some of them strate strategically put down in areas, some just put down. And um, oh yeah, this area here, like I said, I'm not going to put a fence or a wall up through the mountain. So I just raised up the mountains, um, basically, right down through the mountain area is going to be the border but i will show you guys at the end an actual border line going through the whole map so it'll help you guys visualize the actual border on this map another border is actually on the water now what we're going to be doing is using the tsunami how do you say it buoy boy whatever you want to say the tsunami things and i'm just going to place those down just because when you go into the emergency button you can kind of see where it is but what I'm going to do one more thing afterwards to really highlight where the the water border is, the maritime border. I think that's what it's called. Um, also, this island down here. At the moment, no one has claimed this island, so no country owns it. Um, I end up just calling it the free island for now. So in the future, if one country wants to claim it, okay, they can take it. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave it right now. No one really owns it. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to be putting down a little... A little ship boat uh, route so basically what I'm going to be doing is well it is technically a ferry but the the idea is that there's going to be a well two two boats two ships that patrol the actual the water the border and at the moment I couldn't really find any like military or police boats that fit the actual look so I'm just using one of the the ferry um, the ferry, not the vanilla ferries, but another one that I already had in the game. But if you guys know of any good um, military or police boats that I could use that would kind of fit in with this, let me know. Um, I'll go have another look, but I couldn't really find any. So at the moment, I'm just using a random ferry. But yes, I thought that was a cool idea to actually have something patrolling down along the water. And the way that I had to do it is I had to put two ferry depots right next to each other and basically just draw a really long line for them to connect up. So basically, they have to go from one end of the map to the other just to get like five meters, <laughs> which is kind of silly, but I think 
it does it does the job well so it's a, it's a cool idea and it really makes the map uh look interesting because instead of just having all the the traffic on the the, the land on the roads we're now going to have a lot of traffic on the water as well because we also have the new dlc sunset harbor you know i've already put down a little bit because i just got it to work you may notice it throughout this video but yeah I just think it's going to, going to look really cool having all these boats going around, especially the ones monitoring the border. And off they go. I'm going to get the mod that deletes the, the little floating things that shows where the ferry goes, because I don't really like that. But anyway, that's basically all from me. Now I'm going to just show you guys quickly where the actual border is, and then stick around, and I'll show you guys exactly the names of each countries and the name of this series. So stick around for that. <laughs> 